Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here on this Thursday afternoon. As you can see today, we are on uh, legs and of course this is my second leg day of the week. Uh, the first day being Monday and if you have paid attention to my videos and everything this week, you know things have been a little bit lackluster. I've had no sleep at times and my toe was infected at another time and just kind of things bled over one day to another. But here we are Thursday and I'm feeling pretty good today. And uh, something I want to touch base on really quick is, you know, how we can be kind of hard on ourselves sometimes. And it's, it's natural to do that uh, whenever you expect certain things of yourself, no matter what it is, whether it's in the gym or personal life, your career, etc., whatever it is, we expect certain things, or a lot of us do. And we can be pretty hard on ourselves. And, you know, I was kind of down on myself a little bit, a little bit, not too bad. But uh, today I got to thinking, you know, uh, yeah, it's been kind of a lackluster week. No real records were broken. You know, I've just been you know, getting the job done. But I got to thinking today, you know what? Not only did I, do, did I do legs Monday, but I also did biceps. And not only did I do chest on Tuesday, but I also did triceps. And not only did I do elevated deadlifts, on Wednesday, but I also did something I've not done in a very long time, and that's shoulders. I did some dumbbell presses. So, you know, when you step back and you look at it like that, hey, you know, you're accomplishing some pretty good stuff, and in some cases, uh, maybe better than you expected, and better than some other weeks that you thought you actually did better. So, uh, just trying to look at the brighter, more positive side of things. Uh, you know, if you step back and kind of look at the overall picture for a minute and, and, and get out of the moment and, and uh, kind of look at things, uh, you see that you might have surprised yourself a time or two. And uh, it don't always come in the form of moving big heavy weights and uh, tons of reps and killing yourself in the gym or like I said, your career, your personal life, whatever it is you're doing. Sometimes it's kind of the smaller things that you can kind of look back and say, you know what? Uh, I know that this is going to help in the long run, and we all know what I say. If you watch my videos, you know that all these videos and all these workouts and all these days, they're just a little piece of the puzzle that's part of a bigger puzzle, you know, and we hope to one day kind of have a finished puzzle. That's going to be hard because there's always something we're trying to do, uh, especially in these type of, you know, uh, sports and things like this. We're always trying to accomplish, but we're hoping to one day maybe finish that puzzle uh, with all these pieces put together over the years and look back and see something that we're extremely proud of and that others can look at and maybe be proud of and get some inspiration from and in hopes that along the way maybe you're helping someone else uh, in their day and their, you know, in their journey, whatever it is that they're doing. Even if you're not into working out or sports or any kind of activity or anything like that, maybe watching people like myself or other people out there, uh, you know, we can inspire you to still try to push forward and do great in something that you do enjoy or you might want to enjoy or that you might want to start doing. So, you know, you never know what you're doing for yourself and for others. And uh, sometimes we just got to step back and... Uh, maybe you know get our thoughts together and and see that maybe we are doing something pretty decent you know so today was a, a pretty good day I felt really strong oddly enough and uh, you know I've had uh, just decent amounts of food today I have actually ate uh, breakfast lunch and uh, a snack when I got home from my afternoon bus route so I have had some food so that's good and uh, and right here uh, tackling this 405 you know I look at that and I think well this is nothing new now I've done it you know a handful of times but at the same time this is years in the making this isn't just something that you're gonna do overnight it, especially for me if you go back and look at my journey and my squats this 405 pounds is it's amazing to me and, and I'm super proud of it and look at the depth that I get you know, that's stupid. That's crazy. And we're going to look at another angle of it just for uh, poops and giggles. But, you know, it's small things like that. that. Yeah, I've done 405 already. My dang hair gets caught on that bar. Uh, you know, I've done 405 already. But 
dang, I'll do it again and again because that's a goal that I gave up on. And that proves to me right there that you don't give up on goals. And that's the same thing with my deadlift goal that I gave up on. And then I reached it of 500 pounds. And I've done it two times now since then. And uh, you just can't give up because you never know what you're going to accomplish. And again, it's not just in working out or sports in general, but your life. Everything about your day, your life, everything. You never know where you're going to get, guys, if you just push a little bit farther and uh, put the effort in and, and uh, concentrate on what you're doing and think of things and you never know what's going to happen. So this right here is going to be the final set. I'm stopping at 315 for whatever reason. I just I wasn't thinking and I just stopped at 315. But uh, we'll get a good solid five reps here. Uh, a couple of the reps were a little bit wonky. I felt a little bit maybe rushed or I just kind of got off balance just a smidgen. But uh, you also notice that I take my time in between my reps. I don't just like throw them out there. Uh, if you kind of get a little wobbly, get your, try and get yourself uh, situated again and just take that extra breath and, and uh, make sure you get things right. And uh, Because, you know, squats are not something you want to screw around with. Take it from someone like myself who has a chronic bad back. And yes, I can still squat and work out and do everything else. So. Uh, yeah, be proud of what you're doing, guys. And uh, there's a lot there's a lot of people out there not doing anything. Lots of overweight and obesity and unhealthiness and laziness and people just not living a life at all. So be happy if you're part of that 1% and help to push others to be part of that 1% so we can get that percentage to finally climb. And uh, that's our goal out here, guys. That should be our goal every day. So anyway, that's going to finish this day. Uh, Please, if you would, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to The Body Beatdown. That's me, Michael, your incredible host. And get ready for tomorrow. It's going to be chess day. All right, maybe back, too. Who knows? So get up, get out, get rad. Come on, Mike. Get up, get out, get rad. Do it to him. We'll see you next time on The Body Beatdown. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it, do it!